this news of 2023. I'm Imogen. I'm Amelie. I'm Juniper. I'm Ava. And I'm Maddie. Over the last few weeks of this, we've had athletics, te marakura tahi, and contributing school visits. Roll the clips! It's a good night, a bit of a bit of a good night. Let's do something we can laugh about when we get old. Good times come and good times go like it's an open invitation. Hundred people in the basement, young, dumb, and beautiful. Bring all your mutual walls. Speaker on the verge of breaking. Feel it when they bring the bass in. Five dollar Christmas lights. Hung up in late July Forget about your work tomorrow You know you earned it Probably gonna hurt tomorrow Bet you it's worth it It's a good night to live a little of the good life Let's do something we can laugh about when we get old Cause good times come and good times go by too fast to Kiss that stranger like it's your life To the deep end Feel like will I am I got a feeling Think I could touch the sky Hold up I might just try Forget about your work tomorrow You know you earned it We'll come back to earth tomorrow Right now we're perfect It's a good night What you ain't for? Better come and hit your goal. Uh, he jump in it won't feet. Going to the sun up, we ain't getting no fleet. Seven days a week, seven different sheets, seven different angles. I could be your fantasy. Open up, say, ah. Come here, baby, let me swallow your pride. What you want, I can match your vibe. Hit me up and I'ma cha cha slide. You make Mondays feel like weekends. I make him never think about cheating. Got 
two skipping work and me. Let's sleep in. Yes. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, seven days a week. Every hour, every minute, every second, no matter if the night. I'll be loving you for seven days a week. teachers at Broad Green. Last week we interviewed Miss Go. This week we'll be interviewing the amazing Mrs. Riccardi. Here is what she had to say. Okay, do, how do I look? I'm oh, very, very stylish. How do I look? I I look like like Hi, Mrs. Riccardi. Hi, girls. Some questions for you. I figured you would. Did you ever envision yourself as a deputy principal? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good oh, question. um, I. I would probably say no. No, I don't think I envisioned myself as a deputy principal, but um, yeah. But last year I did a term, and so I thought once I did that, well, I could do that again. So I guess yes and no. How do you maintain your great hairstyle? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, nah, not really. <laughs> I don't really have a great hairstyle, especially on a rainy day like today. No, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> product is my friend. Yeah, I use lots of product. <laughs> it's a bit sad, my hairstyle, but that's all right. I think it's a great hairstyle. Thanks, guy. Juniper. If you could choose what you were reincarnated as, what would you choose? Oh, that's a really, really good question. I, uh, I, I've thought about this, actually. I've actually <laughs> contemplated this, and I would say I would come back um, as like a bird. What type of bird? Um, not a seagull. Like maybe, like maybe a tui, because tuis are kind of fierce. 
you know how they are. Um, but I wanted to be able to fly. <laughs> That's like that was my objective of that being reincarnated as a bird because I'd like to be able to fly a, a, a tui or a, or a kia, but definitely not kiddo. I don't want to be a kiddo. <laughs> Oh, those are the big fat ones. No, not that. No, no. Maybe a more pork. That would be a good one, too. I'm a night owl. Yeah. If you had to pick a house to be in, which house would you pick? This is a loaded question. That's not fair at all. <laughs> it is fair. It's I'm wearing totally my neutral fair. white, everyone. Just... <laughs> okay. You, um, you have an orange shirt over there. Just I know. I know. This is a really tough one. Um, if I could be, it depends, I guess, on who's currently winning the House Cup. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, that might be a knockout. That's Woodstock. I think that's Woodstock. Woodstock. Oh, Woodstock is is traditionally a strong house. Um, so is Monaco. That's. It. I'm gonna just like say, no comment. If you were given the lame superpower of like any food you touch, yes, or went bad, what would you do? Nope. <laughs> like like if it like if a student is being really naughty and, and I walk past them and they're just got this big thing of sushi and they're just like, Yeah, I've got sushi and then I just walk by and just touch it. <laughs> Except and then it turns into marmite. That, that's what I would do. That's how I'd use my superpower. But I'm gonna go back to saying, yeah, yeah. That's what I would use it for. That's right. Or to you know, payback karma. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'd use it for. That's great. But that's still a pretty lame superpower. Um, thank you for your time, Mr. Fatty. Thank oh you. well, thank you for coming to my office. It's lovely to have you. As now it is time for this week's star segment. Last episode we looked at being a star during five star, but. This episode we'll be looking at being a star during swim safety at Nailon Fall. grounds on your own. Ask a teacher's permission to use the bathroom. This is so boring. Do you want to like go hang out in the changing rooms? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies, where are you two going? Uh, we just needed to go to the toilet, miss. You need to ask the teacher before you do that and go one at a time. Okay. Yeah, sure. Here, I'll go first. Can you take my book back? Yeah. Achieving! Try to always bring your togs or a note from your parents. If your teacher has set a goal for you, try to achieve it. Hey, I see you don't have your togs today. Is there any reason why? Yes, I have a note.
Respectful. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't have conversations in the changing rooms. Just get changed and then leave. Don't have showers. Off the lane right please ladies. We should like watch the man, it would be so funny. Girls, keep your hands to yourself. That is what it means to be a star during swim safety. Math competition! Every episode we will give you a new math question. Hand in your answer to room 5 on the Thursday before the next school assembly. You can win prizes such as Jessie's. Good luck! Welcome along to the... LC OG Math House. Question this week was five students have a total combined distance of 32.36 for their throws. Three students, three before, the last two. The answer was 10.53 was the total. So then you could have any answer that added up to 10.53. And our winners this week are Charlotte from Room 20. Kaya from room 20. And Ruby, room 18. Go Woodstock! This week's question, we are dealing with Mitchell Santna. Currently in India, the Cricket World Cup with the Black Caps. Over four games, Mitchell Santner gets an average of 15 runs. In Mitchell's fifth and final game, his average goes up to 18 runs over the five games. What did Mitchell score in his third game for the average to go to 18? Get your questions into the red bucket in room five. Thanks for hanging out at LC's OG Math House. Out. This is Maggie and LC Math House. Come inside, it's fun inside. We interrupt your new show to bring you the 2023 World Green Intermediate Class Competition. of this news for 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash the notification bell. Share this episode with your friends and family. See you next time. Bye! Bye.